Hello all, this is Belladonna Mama here, and I'm going to show you how to join the Minecraft server that I play on, which is called Parsonage. Um, it is open to anyone, however, we do not allow griefing or PvP. Um, we, will, we have um, separate areas for PvP. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we also have a residence mod too, so that helps protect your stuff, um, which is great. So you, you can work on whatever you want, and we will gladly help if you have any questions or whatnot. So here is our website, so it's parsonage.co, and on the website, which is a little bit of a work in progress, you can get the code for the mod, or for Technic. So just go ahead and cut or copy, I was supposed to copy that, but I cut it, whatever, it still works. And you go ahead and put it up here, and paste, and it brings up the pack. So you just click that, and then click install. However, there is an easier way to do it. So, you can go up here to your Technic Launcher, launcher and just type in Parsonage. And as you can see, it comes up. So you can just click that and um, click install, which will be over here. And then wait for it to install and play it. So I'm going to see if it shows me. No. Okay, so make sure you have it on. Um, you want the latest version or, the, um, or whatnot. That way, if we update it, you'll be aware. Um, every once in a while, there's like a, uh, a mod that wants to cause problems, so we'll have to go in and fix it, whether it's um, uninstalling it or, or something along those lines, but um, you always want to be current, so, so that way you can get in and play. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up here. And those are my cute little nieces in the background. <laughs> so it might take a minute to load up, but that's just because of the different mods we have in there and how many. It's quite a big mod pack. Um, but we all seem to have a lot of fun with it, especially with all the different things that can be done. Um, there's a gentleman on the server, his name is BK, and he plays with the real craft a lot. So, um, between that and building ships. <laughs> um, and then you have uh, XGP, who plays with anything that makes power. And I myself kind of tinker in some areas uh, more than others. But I do like to just build, so, um, I am, um, I am a mod on here, so what I do is, um, one day I will work on something special for the server, and then another time I will work on my own personal stuff. What? What is that thing? <laughs> and so I go ahead and hit multiplayer. Um, so if you are using just regular Minecraft, I think this will work. I am not positive, but if you want to try it, you can. Um, so if you want to try it, the, ser the server address is play.parsonage.co. Let's go ahead and join up the server. And I'll just show you a little bit. I do want this to be a shorter uh, video. Just a basic information on how to get in and what we got going on. So as you can see I'm in I'm in a village um, and I'm holding money. So this is a, our own money. One of our months created it. Um, his name is Gasic and he's in here randomly and he loves to build as well. But um, so this is a bronze token. You get it for killing mobs. Um, we have different steps of tokens as well. 
go ahead and tur turn on my little cheat mode here so I can fly around and show you guys better. Um, we also have where you can check how much your balance is. So you just backslash um, bow and it comes up um, a balance for you. But you do get some money for being on the server as well. Oh, and another cool thing is, say I want to, oh well, let me show you the village first. So this village spawned automatically, obviously, and it had a smeltery in it already, which was nice, and this had some real craft stuff ar already in it too. So I went ahead and yanked it because my house is like right over there. So um, let me show you what's really cool about res with having a residence mod. I can backslash home. Well, I have a couple homes, so I need to put in home home. But if you only have one set, that's just fine, and you only need to put it in once. And this takes me to my house. But say, oh man, I I actually really wanted something over there, and I totally forgot. You can um, put in backslash back. It'll take you back to where you were before you teleported. Kind of neat. Um, yeah, so this is my house. As you can see, it's still a work in progress, of course, because that's how I do this. <laughs> um, that I built myself. That's not how it came. <laughs> it has my um, nether portal in it. And this is my house. Let me show you how it's really neat. So you come in here, and look, it tells you, Welcome Belladonna Mama to Bella, which is what I named my residence, owned by Belladonna Mama. <laughs> um, and then, let me see, what else? Oh, I can show you guys what I'm working on for the server itself. Um, Oops, I think I spawned myself in a wall. <laughs> I need to change my um, teleport, teleport point. So this is what I'm working on. It is uh, going to be uh, a full house. So it's going to have two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, a living room, and I think I'm going to put in a garage as well, but we'll see if I'm sick of the project by then. Um, I worked a little bit on it during my um, Half-Life stream, which if any of you tuned in, thank you. But yeah, so, it's really neat. Um, oh, see this? I love how Carpenter's blocks have the wedge, because you can sort of get a roundish look to something without um, it being really round so it doesn't look like Minecraft anymore but um, yeah um, if you guys have any questions about how to get in the server or whatnot go ahead and contact me just put it in the comments whatever I read them every day they go directly to my phone so um, there shouldn't be any issue. Oh, let me show you our spawn point, our spawn real quick too. Just tap in spawn, and it takes you right there. All right. So the owner of the server, his name is Soul Griever, and you'll see him on randomly. And he's never in mod mode. I swear, he's always in regular player mode. Um. And this, this spawn, by the way, was built by Gaz. And here's his Gaz Mart. It's still a work in progress. And then there's um, other stores in here that you can rent. And that goes uh, quite a bit away. And over here, we have a little lounge area with a TV and a uh, coffee table and end table and right here we have the bank so say I want to have more money on me and I don't want the coins anymore so I'm going to go over here to I sell 
and I sell my coins and it will automatically do it for me well I mean I click on it but um, it automatically takes my coins and give me $200 for each one and like I said we have different variations or say you don't want to have your balance on you because I believe if you die part of it's taken I can't be sure if he took that out or not but say I want to buy a big token I can do that as well well I don't have the money but you know what I mean <laughs> so down here we have a few other things going on just some creative stuff um, Guess is really good at making great spawns let me go ahead and go outside. But there's more in there. Um, if you come in, um, you can experience. This site is currently work in progress. Of course, I chose the one spot where it's uh, work in progress. So this is fun. Um, I believe eventually it will be where you can get up here. Obviously, there's walkways, so hopefully that's the next step. So yeah, this is our spawn area. Well, let me see if we have... We usually have random teleport buttons as well in spawn. Um, and that means when you join the game, you can hit a button and it'll take you uh, to a random location usually above water so it doesn't kill you when it traps you and you do get a basic starter pack whenever you start the server so i believe it's um just some basic weapons a little bit of food just to get you going oh yeah here's the um here's the different portals so you got a public nether portal um I can't remember what this one is for at the moment. Then you have the end portal. And as you can see, it's it's all public, so you can use it. We also have a public machinery room. Oh, not, not right here. This is the rail hub that will take you to different places once it is complete. And let's see. Yeah, this is the public machinery. So, and then you have public farm plots. So, this is where you can um, take wheat or some sugar cane. We got um, cactus back here. And we also have uh, public beds below. And we have, um, this is where you can do uh, squid. Sorry. So, you come over here. There's an on and off switch and you can stand really close and they'll give you the things or you can go down to the bottom but uh, sometimes you get stuck in there not really stuck but whatever like not able to move as well um so here's some real board anything left is free game to anyone which kind of makes sense all machinery is free for everyone to use so you don't have to pay any money, you don't have to be a certain class or status or whatnot, um, which this will help you when you just first get started. You're responsible for your own resources. That means we are not going to provide you, um, say, say you want to use these, okay? And it takes two separate things, right? Like usually iron and redstone. We're not going to give you the redstone or the iron to make it work. It's all for you. We have everything hooked up to power. So, I mean, that starts. We have a small enchanting room. And we have, um, wow. That looks kind of nice with glass in the front. I usually don't put glass in mine, but. Um, so then we have a public smeltery. So yeah, um, it, it, we try to make it easy for you to get started, especially because some of the things are a little bit more difficult because it is a mod pack and because, um, I mean, for the most part, the same people that are on the server have been playing 
on Parsonage for a while now. So we all know each other, but we are definitely glad to welcome other people in. And we also have a team speak as well. I'll have to look up that. Um, so if you want to play on the server, you can also join in the team speak and chat with us. So if you have any questions, or you can like log in, log out, you know, however you want to do it. But just, I want everyone to be aware of you that this is sort of an adult friendly server. So, I mean, we try not to post any swear words or anything as far as it goes inside of chat, inside of the Minecraft game. Uh, but the team speak is kind of fair game. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you, like I said before, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the, the comments below and we'll be glad to help and get everything straightened out for you. Wow, these pillars are insane. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope I see you guys and have fun playing. Bye. <laughs>